market set. I do for Zal Hay Market Analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading session the 9th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, aftermath of uh, the uh, potential election outcome, a UK election outcome. And let's see exactly where we finish. Now, the FTSE 100 certainly shook off the initial sell-off. I think after hours, we were down as low as 7,400. We actually finished back higher at 7,527. And the FTSE up 77 points. The so German DAX certainly finished up 100 points, certainly pushing uh, towards that gap fill, uh, which I'll shortly uh, discuss. The French CAC up 35. The FTSE MIB, the IBEX, all certainly higher. And it certainly seems like the, uh, the actual uh, initial drop certainly was neutralised. Uh, in terms of economic numbers or economic data, let's just go through that today as well. Let's look at today's economic stats. Uh, okay. Let's just quickly bring these up for you. Okay, so overnight we had uh, Chinese uh, inflation numbers, uh, PPI and CPI, uh, slightly coming in on the weaker side, thereby helping, or, or helping the argument of a potential more stimulus. Uh, the uh, Hang Seng finished negative, the Shanghai finished slightly higher, whilst the uh, Nikkei finished higher, 0.5%. Then we had the uh, German trade balance certainly coming in weaker as well, although exports certainly increased, but uh, imports uh, certainly increased as well. Current account uh, uh, certainly uh, declined, okay, so again, certainly something to... Uh, take into account uh, imports certainly surging for the from the germans perspective given the fact that they're expected to be minus 1.1 percent they actually surge 1.2 percent european or should we say french industrial production or industrial output certainly came in on the weaker side and the budget certainly came in on the weaker side too hence the reason why the cac was subdued today compared to the german dax uk uh, inflation expectations certainly uh, are uh, quite obviously pushing Pushing slightly um, more, I think the actual factor, well, the previous number came in at 2.9%, this time 2.8%, still high, okay, manufacturing production coming in on the weaker side, industrial production as well on the weaker side, goods and trade balance certainly coming in, uh, uh, coming in on slightly, uh, slightly improved, slightly improved, okay, slightly improved than the previous stats, okay, other than that, we had the uh, GDP estimate as well coming in more or less in line at 0.2%, we had CAD unemployment rate um, actually uh, coming in flat, and the uh, employment numbers slightly coming well, certainly coming in three, four times better than expected. Uh, Baker Hughes rig count seven four one increase again on the last time, so again certainly putting pressure on oil. So that really was a summation of uh, the actual economic data today. Now let's look at the rest of the uh, uh, technical picture on the uh, the markets. Now let's bring up the uh, German DAX first and foremost. As always, okay, so German DAX hitting that double top, okay, so still holding double top resistance at 12.850. The German DAX certainly went for the gap fill figure, especially given the fact that, uh, I did mention this as well yesterday, given the fact that you had uh, the uh, situation uh, with regards to Mr. Draghi, certainly coming in dovish. And with the euro below that 1.12 level, that certainly did help the German DAX, especially given the fact that uh, imports, exports certainly improved as well. Therefore, one would expect the German DAX to appreciate. Now, we are into double top intraday. We are into that resistance zone. So let's see exactly how that fares. You do have a unfilled gap below, though. Bear that in mind at 12.7 or 12.680. That certainly needs to close. Now, we have had the uh, the NASDAQ sell off quite sharply after hours, uh, or should we say cash hours in the US. So again, uh, the move with the NASDAQ and uh, the uh, the actual German DAX is really in, it's quite interwoven. So just keep an eye on that as well. Okay, now in terms of the French CAC, again, you had weak numbers, industrial output numbers from French CAC. You can see here the French CAC certainly languishing. It looks like it wants to close that gap below at 5050. So watch out below. 60 minute chart of the French CAC. Let's just bring this up as well. Really trading sideways, no real movement here at all, to be honest. 10 minute chart, you have an unfilled gap left below. That certainly hasn't closed and obviously support. And you are into resistance here. So conclusion, French CAC is lagging. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, now this has been impressive. Daily chart has a H&S formation, so keep an eye on this H&S formation after the rising contracting wedge has broken. Uh, you are now looking for 
the actual 7450, 7600, so you're looking for 7300 projected in the downside. So that's your potential downside target, so 7300. Keep an eye on that, okay, in terms of the next potential move on the uh, on this market. So looking for 7300. Uh, seven, you do have support here at 7380, okay. Let's see if we can actually break even lower, given the fact that... Uh, uh, Miss uh, uh, Theresa May certainly is insistent on uh, going ahead and she's actually appointing the same people which is quite interesting okay she's certainly appointing the same individuals back to the cabinet so again the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting a different result and that's exactly what she's doing and really it will be at a detriment for her so from FTSE at pre present has retraced it was as low as um, 7 400 after hours Okay, and uh, we certainly retraced quite sharply, hit a pivot high of 7.540. Only to retrace, and that obviously was helped by the German export numbers as well, and the German import numbers to a large extent. 10 minute chart of the uh, FTSE itself, it certainly seems like we based around this figure here, around the 7.480 uh, zone. We failed to close the gap, which I was expecting at 7.450, but I am looking for that gap to close now. So 7480 and then 7470 and 7450 are the targets on the downside, especially given the fact that the Nasdaq has flushed after hours. Okay, now in terms of the Euro stocks, let's bring that up for you. Okay, so Euro stocks coming into resistance into that 200 MA. Okay, certainly a topping tail here as well. So again, looking for a topping tail. Obviously, it was held by the German DAX and the export numbers, but you can see Euro stocks certainly languishing sideways. And you're looking for a lower high, and then obviously looking to flush lower. Uh, the 60 minute chart on the Euro stock, let's just bring this up. Uh, you're looking at a mini HS formation here as well. 10 minutes, you're certainly into or got approaching resistance. We broke out a symmetrical wedge. Okay, so we are looking at uh, resistance at uh, 3600. Okay, so look for resistance at 3600. Okay, so that's the status quo. Okay, folks, that's the status quo. Resistance at 3600, so watch out for resistance there. Uh, Euro, German DAX certainly being helped to a large extent by the export numbers. Whether that can last is another, obviously, uh, question altogether. Okay, so I think that's uh, a good summation of European equities. From my perspective, the FTSE 100 looking to potentially close that gap at 7450, and that's what I've positioned myself for going into Monday's trading. So certainly looking for a flush on the FTSE 100. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.